on three, two, one, go! So, ooh, oh. Cartina is in the lead. He got 90,000 <laughs> on the Guts score, and Kulki got 100,000, which is the worst RNG. Uh, 10,000 in score means uh, 10 frames. So. Okay, um, this category has not been run much, I think, in marathons. Um, we usually run the any percent all stages category, where you use the magnet beam to do all sorts of uh, crazy stuff. Uh, we're not gonna see anything of that kind here, uh, because this is a simplest category. Uh, this category was invented um, because there was a glitchless category before, but the problem with glitchless and Mega Man is that it's basically impossible to do this game glitchless, because uh, you do accidental glitches everywhere. You see here, for instance, they are uh, pausing at every boss, uh, at every boss, every enemy, to neglect the knockback animation, and that's not allowed in Glitchless, and uh, that made the category kind of boring. Also, you're gonna see at the boss fights, they're gonna do some selecting on the boss fights to make the fights go faster. You basically extend, or the iframes of the boss run out while you're pausing the game, and they will um, you know, get it back when they unpause, so they can use one shot to uh, damage them multiple times. That's not allowed in Glitchless, but it is allowed in Sipless. So basically, most of the fun bitches in the game are allowed here, uh, except for the sips. The guts fight is a really scary fight. Cool, okay, got it down nice. <laughs> oh. Ooh, Cartina with a death on the guts. That's a bit rough, but thankfully it's a f uh, fast respawn in the corridor. Actually, uh, Gutsman is among the hardest stages Sipless, because you take a lot of damage in the stage, and uh, the boss fight can be random, and it's really hard to avoid all the, all the shots. So we'll see how we do here. We got a bad pattern now. Uh, meanwhile, Cool Kid is going on to the cutting stage, which, uh, which is the stage most people know, because that's the one we always, always reset in when we're doing the all stages um, category. And Cardina is done with Gutsman, so he's close behind. Time for a quick donation? Yeah, sure. Uh, we got a $10 donation from Anonymous that says, Good luck, Cool Kid and Cartina Cow. Winner is the coolest Mega Man 1 runner. So, uh, there's not much to say in Cutman, it's mostly about uh, movement optimization, um, trying to, you know, basically there's some RNG in this stage, the Susis, uh, which uh, Cool Kid is at the moment, can move quite randomly, but uh, yeah, he got a good pattern there, so it's fine. You also noticed he did a select jump there, that's uh, basically to reduce the lag in the screen. Alright, I will try to remember that, but I think they... Yeah, it's, it's best I push the buttons. <laughs> Alright, so um, Cool Kid is uh, closing in on the Cutman fight here, and uh, since he did Guts first in this category, uh, the, the, the Cut fight is gonna be very simple. It's, uh, it's, uh, uh, cut is weak to Gutsman's weapon, so you'll see what happens here. Hey, Cutman. I missed him, I think, yeah, I did. Oh, well, bye, Cutman. <laughs> well, it was a bit slower than expected, but it's fine. Meanwhile, Cortina is uh, soon done with the Cutman stage as well. Uh, those big random enemies here can pose trouble sometimes if you done the stage poorly. Um, because they take a huge chunk of damage. Uh, meanwhile, Cookie is uh, going into Kellogg Man. And um, here we will get one of the main items for the game, even though it's uh, sipless. There's a magnet beam, uh, which is basically a beam which makes uh, platforms you can jump on. And uh, that's the one we use to do all the crazy sips in the all stations category, 90%. 
but uh, it's still it's still very much used in the simplest category as well because you can basically skip a huge part of the stages with it. It's also using kind of technique there on the ladders to hit those enemies as fast as possible. You don't just uh, uh, shoot uh, left and then con continue to climb because if you just shoot left, there's a bad. Oh, that corny jump is tricky. Uh, you kind of freeze the animation when you shoot, so you need to jump off the ladder before you shoot and re-grab it again, and it's actually very tricky. He did a good job there. Meanwhile, Cartina's coming up uh, the corner jump, the same corner jump as Cool Kid did, so let's hope he get it. You can see he's also dropping the ladder for each shot. It's actually a tricky input, much harder than it looks. Now, thankfully, there's no risk of doing the the endy jail here, uh, as opposed in all stages. Ow, Cartina unfortunately fell down in the uh, in the corner jump, but it's gonna go again. So, ouch. Meanwhile, we can see Cool Kid using the magnet beam to his advantage. Even though he can't sip with it, well, you don't sip in this stage anyway, but uh, you can still see the, the advantage of having it. There we go. Katina got the corner jump. That one is actually very tricky. It's one of the hardest... Uh, it's a reset point in the game. So... Meanwhile, Cool Kid doing a magnetine climb. Which I can explain more in detail when Cartina gets there. <laughs> that, could, that could have been scary. Usually you're at low health entering that stage, uh, that, uh, and the Elekman does a ton of damage, but. Yeah, it could have been bad, but it was alright. So, on to Iceman, which is in all stages category it's among the more crucial stages here it should be uh, one of the easier ones actually it's not much going on here you basically just uh, use the magnet beam to get over the big gaps of water and there's not much to it really time for a quick donation yeah sure uh we have five dollars from pld that says practice doesn't help cartina cow just kidding good luck cool kid Cow and Zoda on your runs. Thank you, PLD. Alright, uh, now Cartina is coming up with a magnet beam uh, climb here, which is very tricky. It has the same... Uh, it uses the same uh, ladder shot as I talked about earlier with the buster. But instead of the magnet... Uh, instead of the buster shot... You use the magnet beam. Ouch. And there you can see how tricky it is. Um, it's incredibly difficult to um, get the beams up at the right spot and then jump on it before the electrocution things hit you. It's a very scary, scary thing to do, but he went for it. Now he's coming up into the Ele Elekman fight, it's gonna finish him off quickly. Meanwhile, Cool Kid is, is moonwalking into Iceman. And by Iceman. Alright, uh, so Cortina going into Iceman and uh, Cool Kid going into Fireman. Fireman is one of the more technical stages, I would say, in simplest category. Uh, there's a lot of... Uh, I mean, in the any percent, uh, you basically just switch the magnet beam and that's it. You all the, try to do all the tricks. In this one, you need to switch weapons a lot more, taking intentional hits. Uh, because if you, if you switch weapon while taking a hit in this game, um, you know, we, we talked about earlier when you neglect the knockback. 
There's actually two pause buttons uh, in this game. One select that only freezes the screen, and uh, also the, the menu to bring up the, the weapon the weapon menu. And both work uh, as neglecting knockback. So he basically neglects, neglects knockback at the same time as switching weapons to save some frames. You also notice he skipped the refills earlier in the stage, and he has precisely enough beams to finish it with the way he wants, but now he's all down there, so it should still be fine. I should despawn the mine down there, yes it did. Alright, meanwhile, Cartina has done a good job in ice, so he's coming into the boss fight now. And he's gonna make quick work of Iceman. Uh, Iceman is uh, probably the easiest boss in this speedrun. Right? It only takes three hits from the Elec Beam, so there's not much I can go wrong with. There's um, a few different setups on the firefight, let's see which it goes for. The fast one, obviously, and by Fireman. <laughs> Alright, on to Bomb Man. It's um, depending on what route you take here, there's two different ways of doing this stage. Uh, cool Kid is most likely gonna do the hard route, which uh, switches to the Magnet Beam early. Um, the safer path is uh, switching to Ice right here, but he switched to Magnet Beam. When you switch to Ice, it makes uh, this upcoming section a, li a little bit easier, because he can freeze uh, to avoid some bullets. But uh, he gets through easy enough to- oh! Commentators? Jinx, sorry. <laughs> well. Even though he took that hit, his strat is can still gonna be equally fast to the ice, ice here, because um, he's gonna use the Magnet Beam to try and uh, not get hit by this sni Sniper Yo here, and uh, this Sniper Yo, I tell you, is very persistent. He gave him a very good pattern there, he was really not giving him much hassle at all. Sometimes he can be a real jerk, and just going, doing high jumps all the time. Meanwhile, Cortina is fin finishing up Fireman stage without any issues. So, he's doing a real good job here. Aside from the, the early problems, he's uh, bouncing back really good, I would say. And as every other boss in the game, you basically shoot once and then push the select button with the right timing. Cartina also doing the fast rate of fire, nice. And Cool Kid is done with Bomb. They're basically neck to neck, just one stage apart here. They're doing a good job, both of them. So, uh, Cool Kid going into the next phase of the run, uh, in the wily stages. Um, yeah, there's not. Wily stages in general, except for Wily 4, is, I would say, fairly, well, of course things can go wrong, it's Mega Man, things can always go wrong, but it's pretty okay, actually. So, in the in all stages category, we use Magnet Beam to switch the Magnet Beam instantly and perform a quite big sip here. But in this category, you can't do that, so he switches to Ice, and to not get so much damage out of those big guys. Those jumps he has did are among the trickiest in the game, actually. The casual way is probably to use ice to freeze the flame pillars and use them as uh, leverage, but that's quite slow and boring, so we don't do that. Oh, lag reduction. Okay, 
there's a yump manipulation you can do there, which is really tricky, but that's fine anyway. And that was incredibly risky. Those platforms... You can actually fall through those platforms when you jump, so... Yeah, I would not have done that. Meanwhile, Cortina going into the bomb fight without any issues. So, in the, here's one, you know, a, a big reason the simplest category was created. Uh, I mean, this boss, if you play this boss casually without knowing about the select trick, you know that this fight takes forever. And uh, in a glitchless category, you would not be able to use the select glitch, and you will stand there for a couple of minutes just waiting when he goes back and forth in the room. But thankfully, we do allow the select glitch and. Uh, Yellow Devil is dead. Wily 2. Well, in the simplest category there's not much really going on here. Um, it basically wants to minimize uh, the damage it takes in this stage. There's two refights he has to do. First Cutman and then Elecman. Since there's no Guts blocks in here, you need to the buster to kill this man. Thankfully he knows the pattern and how to manipulate it, so it's, it's in quite an easy fight. The only real scary issue here is if if he gets hit by an Elec man, uh, he, he, he does a lot of damage, which, which can... Um, you, you use... Hey, um, okay, the commentator's kings again! You need to stop doing this! Scary. Well, <laughs> uh, there's some damage boosting here at the end of the stage. Uh, there's a long uh, uh, downwards climb here. And he wants to be at good health at the boss fight. Because you, you want to conserve your fire ammo. And uh, to do that, you usually take a couple of hits in the boss fight. Uh, using a glitch uh, that regenerates re his fire shield uh, without actually firing more than once. We'll probably go for it here, so we'll see what I mean. Meanwhile, Cortina is finishing up Wily. Wily won. Gonna do short work on the Yellow Devil. He has plenty of health and uh, nothing is gonna act up, I think. And no commentators first this time, please. Now we shall see. Fire shield glitch seems to be impossible today. It's fine. The clone is dead and the uh, cool kid is not, so that's, that's a good thing. But he's low on uh, low on fire now, so he's gonna he's probably gonna have to pick up a refill uh, at Wily 4 now, which will cost an additional couple of seconds, but it's no big deal. Well, while they're free, uh, not, not really much going on here. You basically have to take the long walk of shame, but in this in this run it's intentional. Uh, in the all stages category, you can basically zip through this entire long walking screen. But we can't do that here. Um, so it's basically holding right and doing a jump occasionally. At the end, you actually do two games to manipulate the pattern, but. Not super exciting. Well, Cortina also taking a hit from Elec Man, which makes the last part a bit scary. Oh, here's the dupe section. Oh! Explain that later. You got one dupe. Well, basically, if you press that hack button at the exact same time, the last. Uh, the last block part and uh, exits the screen. That's what I'm... Uh, you get a duped block. So you basically pick up another block from midair and without wasting the ammo. So you can kill all the bubbles. If you get three frame perfect dupes, you can kill all the bubbles. 
now he only got one, so he had to switch to Buster to finish him off. And here's Wily 4, it's, um, it's probably the hardest stages in Sipless, I would say, because this corridor here is very precise. You need to jump in the right spot, taking one hit here and then, yeah, that was good. And then there's a refight coming up, and depending on what pattern you get, uh, you can make a few seconds difference. But it's a really tight executional spot because you need to your select uh, time you need to be on point here. And Bombman did the short jump, which he cooperated, so that was good. Quick donation here. Yeah, you can do a donation. We got five dollars from Von Rufio. He says, never give up. Good luck to Cool Kid, Cartina Cow, and all the other Mega Man runners. Hashtag Team Grana. <laughs> Alright, so Cool Kid uh, blasting through the refights here. Uh, no issues so far. Ooh. Happen again! Stop it, Andy, stop it. Yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> Cartina doing the, the long jumping part. Let's see how many dupes he gets. Cool kid skipping the reef, uh, refill. Going all in. He's going all in. N now he needs his uh, fire shield regeneration to be on point. Okay, you got the first one. Karina getting dupes while Cool Kid is finishing up. Karina got two dupes. And cool kid. Oh, that was Cartina's timer. Right? Oh, whoops. Well, <laughs> you have to cool kid anyway. You have to switch the timers around. Damn. But okay, it just felt natural. <coughs> felt natural. Yeah, it's I know. closest button. I'm sorry. I should have. I should have pushed that one, but I don't want to. I didn't yeah, want yeah, to yeah. Um, disturb him in the dupe mom moment. Oh. oh. That can happen. Uh, basically, if you're not fast enough on that first screen, uh, you, you take a hit. And it's very hard in uh, in the old stations category. You don't switch weapons until further oh. further up. Here is a bit more scary. Okay, that was good. But this is the yeah the scariest part in Wily Four. Because, um, I mean, even if you take a couple of hits, it might not look that bad time-wise. But the thing is, uh, the refights, if you take it there, it might cause... Uh, you know, if you're low on health into the wilder fight, it can get really tricky. Bomban, unfortunately, did not cooperate for Cartina. Uh, he did a short jump for Cool Kid, but in this, uh, this case he jumped basically into the elevator, which is really hard to handle. Fireman going down without any issues. And Iceman never gets his time to shine. I feel sorry for Iceman. So, when you see the fire shield spinning around Mega Man, uh, it means you basically you push B a second time before the uh, before the first shot leaves the screen. So you basically shoot twice with one shot, and that makes the game think the fire shield is active. There we go. Hi. It was, it was a good race, it was a rough start for Cartina, and it's really hard to bounce back. Um, 
the early part of the race is the most dangerous part in Cyprus and uh, one mistake can unfortunately be crucial, but I think he did a good bounce back to the way to the end there. But yeah, that was Mega Man Cyprus. Good job, guys. Yeah, thank you. It's nice to, uh, I mean, yeah, as Andy said earlier, I don't think this has ever been featured in, uh, in, uh, in like a live run setting, a marathon setting. So, I mean, I, uh, I haven't played this category for very long, but I still think it's a, it's a very fun way of speedrunning the game. I, I really like, I mean, I, I like playing, you know, the regular end of Central Stage as in this. I, uh, but as much, I really enjoy both. So. Uh, we got a $5 donation from the Cherry Point that says, Hashtag Team Grana. <laughs> Thank you, Cherry Points. Alright, uh, well, next up we have Soda with uh, Rockman 2, which is a really scary run and a really enjoyable one, so stick around for that. Yeah. Uh, I was wondering if the, uh, did the uh, people request some uh, triple candies? I might have heard. Uh, some people uh, wanting to see some triple candies. For Can run candy is always good. Yeah. So I'm just going to wait for Cortina to uh, finish his run and for him to hop into Iceman stage and see if we can uh, get, get some candy. Ca get some candies. Triple candy? Yeah, do it. Alright, so triple candy. <laughs> oh, this is quite a long story, but the triple candy, the story of the triple candy started at HDQ 2014 and has been. Sort of been a legend since then. Well, it's not a legend, it's a true legend. Anyway, uh, so you're going to Iceman stage, and on the third enemy... See, I'm gonna move the same time as Cortina. Here we go. The third enemy, if you get triple candies, it's very likely that you can trigger a glitch. I got one candy. Ah, okay, that was the camera. Ooh, you know. Okay. Let's see here. Candies and a camera and oh, uh, come on! All right, one more. Oh. What is it with the candy today? Oh, oh, wow. Didn't it sit here? I said it was good. Maybe that was the issue here. Oh, it's not giving to. Uh, come on, game. Come on. <laughs> come on. Lucky one up. Basically how this works is, um, whenever you kill, I mean, the reason why this is so laggy is because every time you kill one of these enemies, the drop is actually duped the head and the lower part. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. There we go. Triple candy activated. Got a green screen. This, 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 this looks nice. I mean, this, this looks how I used to play Quake. Quake World back in, like, the 90s. <laughs> So he basically he moves super fast, so it actually makes the stage uh, the stage uh, faster, and it's also banned in uh, most yeah, categories. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, since uh, it's actually a credits warp, um, well, it's, uh, it's kind of put in the same category as the credits warp, uh, where you can uh, you can warp to the credits only four minutes. Yeah, it uses arbitrary code execution, so I think. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and so. you need you need two controllers. Also. Alright, can you uh, can you just reset my console very quick? I wanna go for a wiggle as well. It's a finishing wiggle. <laughs> but this is one broken game. I mean, it's especially if you want to watch the uh, any of the tool assist that runs this game. The current tool assist that record is around 12 and a half minutes, just because there are several uh, several. Um, Parts of the run where they can, um, they can basically skip entire stages by doing some very precise memory manipulation. Yeah. It's, um, as I said in the beginning, this game is uh, the reason the glitchless category is not so popular anymore is that it's, it's almost impossible to make a run without a glitch, even if it's not intentional. So. Uh, this game is broken. My game just crashed. Oh well. Oh well. That was it from Mega Man. Thank you for watching.
Um, welcome back everybody, that was Mega Man 1, uh, next up we have Mega Man 2, uh, yeah, and, uh, that'll be a great run, and it looks like they're almost set up. Yeah, it's Mega Man 2. And, uh, just to let everyone know, there was a new goal added for Vice City SSU Showcase, uh, currently at $5 out of 200, if you want to see them beat Vice City in under 10 minutes, or about 10 minutes. Yeah, if then, you can uh, believe it, that is actually yeah. possible. Um, so you'll want to switch over uh, to see that. Or that'll be during the uh, Vice City showcase. Yeah, for the it history. Will, which uh, uh, I'd got, and well, I think most of the uh, GTA crew are going to get in there at some point. Who know about the uh, the changes over the years and have run all the different routes that there have been. Um, but yeah. Yeah, and then the SSU is what the current any percent is like, so you'll want to get your donations in for that because that's kind of actually really entertaining. Five internet points uh, to anyone in the chat who can tell me what uh, SSU actually stands for. Uh, we'll give you a few, give you a couple of minutes to deal with that. Um, I guess if you have any questions as well, we'll throw it open to the chat. If you've got any questions, we'll, we can answer them. Uh, Anything about the venue or about the games? Perhaps not the games because we don't really know much about all of the games, but yeah. No, it is not Super Smash Universe. Script five, stacked underflow. Yep, that is five go, internet is. points for Katin Jagat. So congratulations on your five internet yeah, points. Five Good internet job. points for him, thank you. He uh, correctly guessed script stack underflow. Mod him. Gonna mod him yeah. in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you need like a hundred internet points to get modded. I'd like to cash my internet points in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How tall is the venue in height? It's about, I'd say, ten or twenty crazy Charlie's tall. Yeah. For reference, I'm six foot one, so. Uh, we're good. We're gonna we're gonna throw it over instead of sitting here awkwardly. All right. See you guys later. Bye bye. Yes. Ready? Okay. All right. So I'm Polarek. I'm gonna do, be doing commentary for Mega Man 2. Also here on the couch is Yoga and our actual runner Zoda. So let's go. Three, two, one, go.